tell you there champs now today is apple silicon day m1 day for the macbook air macbook pro and the mac mini and no this is not the macbook pro what would the apple silicon macbook pro that is so let's unbox it let's have a first look and um by the way you might want to subscribe because i'm going to slam well the apple silicon macbook pro i will have the air in and the mini but we'll focus on the pro today i actually had to go to doncaster to get this thing so i'm going to do lots of tests on this apple silicon mac make sure you subscribe i'm going to do content creation native apps non-native apps gaming of course you know me of course i've got to do some gaming and what i'll do uniquely from other sort of mac reviewers is i will compare them to intel's latest 11th generation cpu and amd's latest eight core cpu both you know this is 15 watts this is 15 watts the m1 apple silicon macbook pro is around 10 watts so we'll see how they go comparing it to the best of the best which is the best but anyway let's get into it all right so let's do this and the box is different of course apple silicon max we better have a better box there you can see different sticker on here as well so 256 8 gigs ram well that's all you could get in store so i'm excited you know this is a new generation of silicon you know i get to review a lot of laptops and um, if i have to review another 1075h and well if i have to review another intel 10th generation and rtx 2000 something I think I'm going to get upset and sick. Oh, yeah. Always a pleasure opening a new box. Let's put that there. Take the Mac out. Well, it's not going to look any different from that, but yeah. We do have a small charger in there. We have some literature, of course. Power cable. And this is a 61 watt charger. So, yeah. That's the same one that goes in there. This one here. This is the one that's been replaced. It's the MacBook Pro 2 Thunderbolt 3s. Yeah. All right, so let's do it. Let's lift up the new MacBook Pro. Silicon, Apple Silicon version. Ding dong, baby, ding dong. Oh yeah, nice. Right, so you lucky people are gonna see it first. The world exclusive shootout between the best ultrabook silicon you can buy amd 4800u apple m1 processor in the macbook pro with the fan and intel's latest 11th generation this is the 1165g7 let's see which one's faster all right so let's do this three two one let's go are we going are we going are we all going yes we're all going all right, so which one's going to win this Cinebench? Best silicon you can buy from each platform, from each vendor, AMD, whoops, uh, Apple, and Intel. Let's see how hard she goes. Oh, I can hear that AMD fan cranking on. Apple silicon is silent. Oh, look at that. Look at that AMD, just chews through the threads. Looks like the Apple Silicon's in second place here. Now, 15 watts AMD. Uh, Apple is supposed to be 10, supposed to boost a bit more. Now, the AMD can boost up to like 50 watts, same with the Intel. So, But it does have eight cores. The Apple has eight cores as well. And to me, it looks like the AMD's killing it here, as you'd expect. I mean, this AMD is faster than a 9880HK. It's faster than a MacBook Pro 16 processor. I'm talking about the AMD, not the Apple Silicon. You can see in last place there, good old Intel. All right, so, ooh, it's going to be close. No, it definitely looks like the AMD's going to kill it here. AMD for the win, so... There you go, the AMD is the king. This is supposed to be native. I will test other stuff, of course. And Apple Silicon is definitely gonna destroy the Intel. I mean, it's gonna absolutely destroy the Intel. And this is multi-core, of course. And what do we have? AMD 9,676, Apple Silicon 7,820, and floppy drive speed, 56K modem, Intel, yeah. So the 11th gen Intel over here actually got 4,838. Okay, that's its multi-thread score. 
well short of this and well short of this. This is actually faster than MacBook Pro 16. MacBook Pro 16, 8,999. And this one is 7,820. So it's not as fast as the MacBook Pro 16. This one is faster than the MacBook Pro 16. This one is floppy drive. But this is single thread now. And it definitely looks like Apple single thread is killing it here. All right, so now look at the Apple, whoa, whoa, single core king. Look at that, boom, just finished their single core score of, what do we got, 1,508. And it looks like the Intel is beating the AMD for single core there, but they're way behind. Apple single core is just going to kill it. Multi-core, not as good as the AMD, but um, definitely beats out that Intel. And considering the Mac it's replacing, yeah, it'll destroy that no problems the intel mac even the 10th generation one you can't even hear the fans on that as well so that's one thing i can hear the fans on the amd the most actually this xps 13 the fans aren't that loud so have a listen of course there's going to be some sound bleed there but um yeah anyway looks like intel's going to beat the amd Hear the fan, listen. Alright, she's been under full load for what, five minutes or something? Let's have a listen. Forty-two decibels, forty-three. There are some laptops like that, so it's not yeah, alright, it's very quiet compared to say XPS 15 or MacBook Pro 16, it's about what eight decibels quieter. But I have seen other laptops around that sort of quietness. So yeah, it is good, but it's definitely, you can hear the noise. So MacBook Air, if you don't want to hear noise. Get a load of this. Okay, so we're doing, as you can see there, 10.48 frames per second, an average of 11 frames per second. That's how fast it's rendering out this same thing. Go to the Intel system here, have a look at this. It's point something of a frame 4.7 no it's point something of a frame what the hell it's going to take 20 something minutes compared to say 15 on the mac man i ain't got time to wait for this rubbish wow that is heaps slower heaps slower and it seems to be just well it looks like here to be fair to the intel system it's only using 65 percent of the cpu whereas this one here you can see it's using maximum all the cores so it's not actually this is just handbrake how fast it is on Mac versus, yeah, PC here. Because it's not using 100%, and that's definitely using 100%. So, still, whatever, it's faster. So, we have Blackmagic RAW speed test here, and this will test how fast it is in DaVinci Resolve with Blackmagic RAW. Now, we'll have a look here at the metal score of that. 2026 compared to floppy disk drive 74 and 67 on the AMD. So, the other one was Intel. A lot faster with metal, okay? That's expected. It doesn't run native DaVinci Resolve with the Mac OS uh, Silicon Mac. So, yeah, that's just how it is at the moment. I downloaded the latest one, so it's 17. It is the beta version. But if we look at CPU, you can see there Intel wins here. 86 with CPU versus 67 versus 85. Well, it's basically the same as, you know, Intel and AMD are the same, but definitely that integrated GPU. But this is using metal, right? OpenCL, these things aren't made for OpenCL. So when DaVinci is native with this, well, I've got to do some investigation to see if I can get a universal. That's how it is at the moment. So far, I'm impressed. I mean, this is 6K, scrubs like butter, plays it no problem, drops no frames. It does the same with H.265, no, H HEVC 10-bit. They're both 10-bit files. And it does the same, it scrolls through this. It's a little bit slower with the HEVC, but it doesn't drop any frames at all. And I can't tell the difference between that and the MacBook Pro 16 in the timeline just with this simple test here. So let's see what happens when I render out ProRes RAW to HEVC, which is what I do to upload to YouTube. So let's see. Okay, so that was exactly the same amount of time there. They both used the same HEVC encoder, I guess, and it was exactly the same. There was literally no difference. So let's output to ProRes.
ProRes and it smashed the MacBook Pro 16 there. So, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> and this has got eight gigs of RAM. I can't tell the difference in the timeline and it's exporting faster. Oof. I have to see one more thing. I have to see HDR. I will test that in another test. That's coming in the future. That's the one thing I want to see. Going from ProRes RAW to 10-bit HDR, HEVC, which takes like two hours or something, just for my 10-minute videos. Well, we'll see if Apple Silicon's any good with that. But just on these tests here, wow. Got to say, with 8 gigs RAM, it's very quiet. The performance is excellent. All right, the AMD beats it in multi-core, but yeah, AMD embarrasses a lot of laptops. It uses a lot more power. And for single core, you can't beat the Apple Silicon. So, oh man, these things are going to be hard to catch in a few years' time. And if anything's optimized for it, it's going to go hard. And everything I used today was 100% native, except for DaVinci, which isn't native yet. So that was a handbrake, Cinebench, Everything was native. By the way, all that testing done on battery on this and what we've got started at 80. And we still have 40% battery and this thing here, well, I've only done what? Those two tests and it's 80%. Yeah, sucking juice like no tomorrow. So yeah, the battery life is going to be amazing on this thing. Also, I did test external display. Only one external display. I tried to and eGPU, no go. 